neighbor, Tom Ryan. Tom Ryan has just uh, made the announcement, of course, that he has hired Logan Steber there at the Ohio State Steelwood Training Center. And again, tomorrow, he's heading to uh, Siberia. Logan Steber is heading to Siberia to compete in the much vaunted tournament, the Yvonne Uregan tournament, where he'll be traveling with Kyle Snyder. Kyle is a tremendous teammate. They just pulled the redshirt from him. He's still active uh, on the uh, Ohio State team. What was his first match like back? Tom, we'll go to you first on the answer uh, to that. He came back as a heavyweight. You know, when you have people, obviously, like Logan and like like Kyle, that just love to compete, right? It, rub, it rubs off on everybody, right? So there, there's definitely an elevated uh, sense of, of uh, you know, I don't know, just, just team spirit. You know, when you've got people like that that are in your lineup. So Kyle coming back against Nebraska, I mean, it was, it was, it was somewhat dramatic, which we didn't want it to be necessarily, but it worked out that way because the score was 17-17 going into heavyweight. So it's like, what, what greater way from a spectator? Maybe there are 4,000 fans here, and you've got you know, uh, your heavyweight coming out. That's the reigning world champion. We also dropped a banner uh, before the match you know, celebrating his world championship. So it was, you know, it was, it was, it was what wrestling can be. From a, from a dual meet standpoint, the best that it, it can offer in just a great dual meet. And he came out against a six foot four, 265 pound big guy from Nebraska and did a nice job, scored 19 points. The match was exciting. And obviously the team wins the duel when Snyder, Snyder wins. I think our announcer has a name for him. Snyder man is, uh, is his new name. I don't know where we got that from, but I kind of, I'm kind of digging it a little bit. So uh, anyway, it was just fun to have him back in the lineup, uh, you know, in a dual meet that had all the excitement that college wrestling can have. I think there should be a song about that, Brad. We call it Snyder Man, <laughs> Snyder Man. If anyone do it, Snyder Man can. Yeah. Logan, <laughs> Logan Steber could probably do a better job. Logan, you're obviously the most decorated wrestler in Ohio State history. You've helped put wrestling in a very special spot on this campus. Uh, at Ohio State, within the Big Ten and the NCAA in general, do you feel you're you're part of history? Uh, you know, yeah, I, you know, I feel you know with, with the team title, I feel like I'm a, a big part of history. You know, it's something that you know Coach Ryan always talks about. You know, it's 85 years. I think we've had a program, and you know, we we uh, we've never won. So you know, it's uh, something that something that you know we won. If if nothing else happens, you know, if you know, I, I think we're gonna have a lot of great Morrissey seasons. You know, in the future. But if nothing else happens, you know, I was part of the team that won, and you know, I, I helped lead the guys. So it's you know, I definitely feel like it's a part of history, and and uh, I'm excited to you know, hopefully build on that history. Take me from last March to today, uh, in preparation for the Iran, Ivan Uregan in Siberia, in preparation for the Olympic team trials. Uh, how are you different as an athlete? Oh, you know, I uh, I guess. Since the weight class is a little different and, and the weigh in rules are different, I don't have to keep my weight down. You know, I, I can I can lift, you know, a couple times a week. I can, you know, not worry about running as much and, and really just, you know, work on some of the skills and the freestyle skills that I'm I wasn't used to, you know, when I was wrestling folk style for the last twelve years or or so. So it's you know, it's been a lot of work with Coach Roselli in the uh, the regional training center. You know, every day we've been working and you know, lifting a lot and getting bigger and just, you know, concentrating on, on uh, some of the best guys in the world now. So it, it's been exciting because, you know, I've kind of been at the top for a while in the college and high school. So now I'm the, I'm the one who's, you know, being a hunter. So I like it. You know, it's just, it's exciting, different role for me. So go back into the role of hunter, Tom Ryan, uh, this young man sitting to your right, uh, as, as, as we both know, is exceptional in many ways, a student, athlete, uh, as an individual. How did he handle uh, the media? I mean, the people at Fox Sports Time Ohio loved it when we covered you guys and when we cover you guys on a regular basis throughout the greater Ohio Valley. Uh, how had, did he handle the pressure of the media attention? Well, I think, like I was said earlier, you know, Scott, he's just so rooted in some basic things in his life that mean as much as wrestling means. I mean, I think you know the values that he has surpassed, you know, uh, the winning and the winning and losing. So it's just who he is. It's just the essence of who he is. So he handles these things extremely well. Um, he's very mature. You know, he thinks like a mature guy, and uh, he's a great leader. So, 
Uh, it's been fun actually watching him prepare, you know, for this next phase of his competitive life. You know, it's, uh, it's a new challenge and it's something I know that he's, he's wanted Olympic gold since the day he started wrestling. So, uh, it's, it's a challenge for him. There's a, you know, obviously with, with, uh, six weight classes and a, and a, and a lot of tough guys, uh, you know, so it's been fun look, watching him prepare uh, for these trials coming up April 8th through the 10th. Tom, a compliment to you. It was said about you in discussion with other leaders in business that you are able to treat this sport from a business perspective and still remain a leader as a coach. Uh, it's quite difficult to wear as many hats as you do, but you've done it well again by making a great business decision in hiring Logan Stever. Again, the most decorated wrestler in Ohio State history uh, and a tremendous leader. Nice job out of you, Tom. I appreciate the time today. Congratulations, Logan. And uh, we're looking forward to seeing the results from the Yvonne Uregan. Yeah, thank you. Thanks for having me. Is there anything you'd like to say to your fans before we let you go? Just uh, thanks for the support. You know, we can keep cheering on the Buckeyes. So it should be, should be fun, uh, fun future. So. From the Steelwood Training Center on the campus of The Ohio State, the Buckeyes looking to repeat this year as Big Ten and NCAA champs. They got a new coach to assist them in that effort, Logan Stever. Thanks for the time.